Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Nelly V, back at it again with another video. I'm so excited because it feels like forever I have not shot a video. So, today's video is we are trying something new. I am going to try sock curls on my hair. I saw this TikTok and the girl's hair really came out really nice. It, it I kind of came out like wand curls. Um, but it was like heatless, so I was kind of excited to try it because I love the way my hair looks with wand curls, but I don't want to put like all that heat on there. So we are going to try it out today. My hair is washed and blow dried and stretched. The ends kind of look crazy, but you get the vibes. So yeah, I was going to just use my dad's socks. But then I was like, I don't know if like a lot of product or something will get on them. So I just brought these from Walmart and they say lightweight. So hopefully they're not too heavy. And yeah, so we're going to try this out. This is not a tutorial by any means. We are just, you know, following a TikTok video, following a trend. And we'll see if the desired look comes out good. Okay. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and join the fam, and I will see y'all in a bit. Hey guys, so I know I literally just said it was not a tutorial, but I was like, let me explain the process a little bit. So I basically put some curling souffle on my hair to moisturize it. I like to put a little extra product on the ends and a little extra product on the roots to really make sure those parts are defined and juicy. Now for this sock, y'all. Like, this was probably the most annoying, most difficult part, just trying to get the sock to stay in place. I was struggling. Like, you could see it was, like, getting loose. It was falling off. I had to try probably, like, three, four times. I eventually got the hang of it, but that was kind of annoying. So just keep that in mind. And then once you actually get the sock in place, um, you know, I poked a hole through it, got the bobby pin security at the root, and then you start twisting. So my method is I kind of just did an X in the back and then an X in the front. So I just wrap the hair around the sock and use the sock as a base, you know? So you can see I'm wrapping it around and then I bring it back and I go all the way down. The only thing I wish I would have done is probably gone a little bit tighter because you can see there's a lot of space and I prefer a tighter curl pattern but I kind of this was the first one so I just wanted to see how it would look but I ended up doing all of them like that so basically just an X in the back and then an X in the front and then just keep going until you get all the way down and then when you get down you just kind of fold the sock up and kind of scrunchy it up so that it'll stay in place Another thing I'll say is that it was kind of hard to like keep each of the curls separate. Um, you could see it's kind of getting caught in the bobby pin of the other curl and then it kind of got like less secure at the root. And I think this is partly because I didn't part my hair. So I didn't kind of give myself space to work with like the hair that I was working with. And that's why it was kind of hard. So I would recommend that. I really never part my hair if I know I'm going to wear it in a curly fro anyways, but it kind of just made the process a little bit like longer. So I'll say that. But yeah, as you can see, you kind of just take the two strands um, and make the uh, twist it around the back, then bring it around the front and then just keep going all the way down.
okay i'm all done i had to make these like i broke these up into a little smaller pieces since you know when you're trying to do a side part it's kind of hard to like twist the whole thing down i feel like my roots are gonna be fuzzy because it was kind of hard to like keep the sock in place and like i was struggling a lot <laughs> to keep the sock in place and twist around it but yeah i'm about to um wrap it up and go to sleep and we'll see how it comes out tomorrow night good morning guys all right we are about to take it down it's been about two days um or like it, i did it sunday night and it's tuesday morning so yeah we will see how it goes i think i'm gonna start with like one in the back just to see you know or should i like oil my hands or whatever it's too late i already started i already started i'm so nervous i'm so nervous because if it doesn't come out good Oh Lord, it's not coming out. It's not coming out. Oh, oh, now the trust the process. Oh, oh, no, 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 <laughs> no. Okay, y'all are not gonna see this video. Or maybe I should start from the top. Okay, we're just gonna give it a chance. We're just gonna give it a chance, okay? <laughs> gosh and it's frizzy <sighs> okay okay i'm not gonna get discouraged i'm just gonna continue we'll just do the back first I just finished untwisting um there's some cute pieces in here there are some cute curls um you know but it's just overshadowed by so much frizz now when the girl did her she had a lot of frizz too um i'm gonna just try to like separate some of these try to see if i can salvage any of it and we're gonna go from there <laughs> okay what y'all think it's just so frizzy and i like my hair to be like very uniformed i know that rarely happens but i don't know like it's big and it's fluffy and it's cute but i can just see it just i just step outside and it's done but like it is nice little feathered look i changed the part i made it a little bit deeper um so it could be more to the side i don't know i'm gonna have to try it again i'm gonna have to try it again because the way this frizz i think i'll try it with mousse or something the girl tried it with hair milk i tried it with curling souffle so maybe that has something to do with it it's cute but like i don't know it has to grow on me but okay what do y'all think about this style? Would y'all try it yourselves? I think it's worth it, but like, it was kind of a lot of effort with the socks. But it's cute. Like, it's a nice feathered, you know, look. If I could get more definition, I think it would be cuter. But like, I think it's cute. Like, I think it's cute. And I don't, like, usually if I blow out my hair, I'm blowing it out to like, put a protective style um i rarely i feel like blow it out to like to like style it you know like this and to have it out so this is different for me it's cute i mean it's cute but i don't know it's just different this side is definitely i'm feeling this side a little bit more because you know you can actually see i try to do something versus this side where it's like what what is going on <laughs> 
so anyways let me know in the comments what y'all think um if you have any recommendations on how i could do it again like with different products and make it stay i'm definitely gonna get some pictures though because we're not gonna waste it you know and if all else fails i'll put it up you know you can always you can never go wrong with putting your hair up okay all right let me see how the back is looking child <laughs> all right well thank you guys for watching i will see y'all in the next video bye So I definitely like this side more because I feel like, like this shows two hours of work. Okay, this, what is going on here? Okay, <laughs> but yeah, it's a different, you know, curl pattern because I used to always just do flat twist. So, you know, those go like that, but it's like fluffier. It's big, it's cute. I can stand behind it.